What's going on YouTube, traders, investors? Today, we're gonna look at the top cannabis stocks on the Robinhood app. But before we do that, in the description below, there's gonna be a link for Robinhood. If you use that link to sign up, you'll get a free stock, I get a free stock, it's all good. And the best thing about it, it's totally free. You don't pay any fees, nothing, zilch, zero. And you stand the chance of getting a Berkshire Hathaway, Apple, or Microsoft stock. Also, if you like the video, subscribe and hit that bell. Let's get into it. The first stock on the list of top cannabis stocks on the Robinhood app is gonna be Aurora Cannabis, ticker symbol ACB. Probably the most popular cannabis stock in the world. It's definitely the most popular on the Robinhood app. Um, you can look at it closed at $8.02 a share yesterday, down almost 4%. But everything, almost everything, was down yesterday because the Dow was down 600 points off of the drama between Trump and China, the tariffs, it's back again. And the market is gonna be volatile. The cannabis stocks are always volatile. So we're gonna look at Aurora real quick. They have earnings May 15th after the market closes. Let's look at the one year chart. As you can see, there's up and down, up and down, up and down. And right now we're on a dip. We're on a dip. You need to watch the market and see just how bad it's gonna get. Um, I believe Kramer was saying that everything is looking like it's oversold. So tomorrow, or whenever you're watching this, maybe today, <laughs> um, people could start buying. They're gonna start looking at things, start picking things. Aurora Cannabis is, like I said, a very popular cannabis stock. They've made a lot of acquisitions. I think they're headed in the right direction. And I think it's just a matter of time before they partner up with somebody and this stock takes off. Um, but don't quote me on that. Do your own research. And we're going to move on to the next one. And the next one on the list is going to be Kronos Group. Ticker symbol C-R-O-N, Cron, or Crone, however you want to pronounce it. Um, they finished yesterday at $14.25, down 7.5%. Um, and that had a lot to do with the market yesterday. The market, like I said, down 600 points. Um, Chinese tariff news. Trump, you know, but I will give a little brief on the Kronos Group. Kronos Group is one of the two, I believe, cannabis stocks that's backed, that has a partner, that has money. Um, Altria, the cigarette maker, put almost $2 billion into Kronos Group. So they believe in Kronos Group. They also believe that cigarettes are on their way out. And cannabis is on its way in. Um, with that, we're going to look at the one-year chart real brief. And as you can see, Kronos Group, volatile, just like all the cannabis stocks. But right up in here is where they started to make the run. And then they got the money. So this is one thing you have to keep in mind with Kronos Group. They're backed. They got money. Almost $2 billion worth. Granted, they've been on the downtrend. They've been on the downtrend. They're getting close to the 200-day moving average. So this is one that you should watch and really be interested in because they have money. They can make moves. So with that, we're going to move on to the next stock. The next stock is going to be Tilray, ticker symbol T-L-R-Y. Um, Tilray was one that I was watching last year when they ipo I believe they IPO, they, they came out around $24 a share. And I was watching this because, of course, I was messing around with Aurora and a couple of other marijuana stocks at the time. And I was looking at this and I'm like, 
okay, it's going up. I saw it at 24. I saw it at 29. I saw it at like 32. And I was looking at it. And I was like, who is Tilray? How can they IPO? And, and before I know it, the stock is at $214 a share. So I knew something was up. And as you can look at the price today, $46.90, down almost 7% today. Um, Tilray, I just, I, I wish I could have got in on it. I wish I would have. I didn't. A lot of people made some money on Tilray. But now, my opinion, I wouldn't touch Tilray. I wouldn't touch them. Um, I think they're more hype than anything. They, they say that, that their business model was supposed to be so much better than the other ones and the way they're doing. I don't see it. We're going to open up the, the one-year chart. And I'm going to show you what, what I just talked about. Here's the one-year chart on Tilray. And here was that mountain move over, I mean, even the high, the high, the high, not where it closed, reached almost $300. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy. It did reach $300. So, and to see where this stock is at today, lets me know that something was going wrong inside the company somewhere. If you're going to hit that high and now you're down to $46, Something's, something's wrong with Tilray. I mean, do your research on it. I'm not going to touch it. Moving on. Next on the list is Canopy Growth, ticker symbol CGC. They finished yesterday at $43.70, down almost 8%. Now, the big thing about Canopy is they're loaded. They have money. They can make moves. Last year, Constellation Brands sank $4 billion into this company because they saw a vision for cannabis. And we're gonna go ahead and dive into this one year chart. And here's the run up. This is about the time when, when the $4 billion was put into Canopy Growth. And as you can see, it reached a high of $59.25. That was in October. Canada went recreational, recreationally legal October 19th, I believe. And then you saw a dip. This, I believe, was with the market also, um, because you can see this was basically what the market was doing last year about this time. And all the way to the low back in the end of December. Then Canopy went on a run again, and they're, they're, they're holding it in this area in the mid 40s to high 40s. But I believe Canopy is where you want to put your money because they have money and they just made a deal two weeks ago to buy Acreage Holdings for $3.8 billion. Acreage Holdings is an American marijuana company. But this deal is contingent on marijuana becoming legal in the United States, federally legal. So there's some, there's some catches to it, but... If you want a good marijuana play that I think is probably the safest, go with Canopy Growth. Moving on. And the last one on the list is going to be Apria, ticker symbol APHA. I am invested in this one. I've got 145 shares. I'm down about 10%. The main reason I got into this one is because I believe that somebody's going to buy Apria. And... I have no proof on that, but there was another company called Green Growth that attempted a hostile takeover. It failed. So Apri is still there for the taking. Um, we're going to go ahead and jump in the chart. It's the one year chart. And you can see Apri hasn't been on the, on, on the exchange as long as some of the other companies we looked at. But you can see the volatility up and down, up and down is where we're at now. <clears throat> this last dip was an earnings miss. Um, so I buy weakness. I saw it as weakness. I don't think it's anything majorly wrong with the company. Um, and like I said, I'm in it for the hopes that somebody's going to buy them. 
And that's going to conclude this video. Um, if you like the video, subscribe, hit the bell. And also in the description below, there's going to be a link for Robinhood. Use that link. You get a free stock. I get a free stock. Everything's totally free on Robinhood. I want to thank you for watching. See you in the next video.